In this lesson, we'll cover aerial perspective. Aerial perspective is an effect that's similar to fog or haze. It doesn't produce volumetric shadows, so it's only an approximation. Click in your V-Ray Asset Editor and twirl down the Environment tab under the settings here, and you'll see aerial perspective there. But first, before we switch it on, let's go ahead and start an interactive render. Now go ahead and turn your aerial perspective on by flipping that switch there, and you'll notice an immediate change. Let's go ahead and twirl down the aerial perspective menu so we can take a look at the options. The visibility range will govern how thick your fog is. So lower numbers will produce thicker fog, whereas higher numbers will produce less thick fog. Atmosphere height governs how low to the ground the fog is. So at lower numbers, more light reaches your underlying geometry, which means that your shadows are there from the sunlight above the atmosphere layer. If you set the value higher, then you'll see a reduction in the shadows. In Scattered Light Multiplier, we'll make the atmosphere a little darker or a little lighter. So lower values will darken it, and higher values will make it brighter. For the filter color, click on the swatch, and you can change the filter of the fog or atmosphere. For example, if you're trying to approximate dust, that's usually a warmer color. Water vapor is usually close to white, an aerial perspective tends to go towards a subtle blue. When the effect environment parameter is turned on, the aerial perspective effect will be present for the camera rays that reach the sky. This effect is usually most visible in low visibility situations. The effect background parameter is similar to the effect environment, only it's just applied to the background. Go ahead and play around with the settings to get something that you like. Let the interactive render finish. And when it does, go ahead and save the image.